Although Copilot can work very well with uh, prompts and using comments as a prompt to generate some code, it is entirely possible to just start typing and getting suggestions on the fly. Now, as always, I have uh, Copilot enabled is right there and um, I've made sure that that's uh, running correctly and I have a Python file here in in fact it can be anything you want it could be there's support for many different languages but I'm just going to be using uh, Python here and this is an existing uh, API that I have and I'm running on code spaces but uh, you don't really need code spaces to be running for this although it makes it uh, really convenient so one thing that I want to add is I want to add a new endpoint so you can see here there's a, a few constructs uh, there's an, an app a post now Copilot doesn't really understand uh, it shouldn't understand that I have a fast API application uh, defined there on line 13 and I want to go and uh, add another one but uh, I want to go very fast and you can see right off the bat I uh, start suggesting things if I add a comment but I don't want to add a comment I want to start developing so I'm going to add a new endpoint and this endpoint is going to generate some tokens I know what I want and I don't want to write a comment for uh, Copilot so I'm going to start typing and as I'm typing you'll see those suggestions coming in from Copilot so I'm going to say app and this is going not to be a dot get it's going to be a dot post and I want to say this is going to be a tokenizer a tokenizer endpoint that's fine and you can see that right off the bat it starts uh, telling me that perhaps I want to name the function the same yes in fact I want to name it the same the actual input is not exactly what I'm looking for uh, the the doc string that is coming is not exactly what I want I want to actually just uh, generate some tokens and I'm going to uh, start writing the, the doc string and you can see that uh, when I start writing the doc string it will start giving me suggestions as well so it's not only just 100% pure code and I can say generate a list of tokens uh, based on input uh, text uh, and this looks uh, almost exactly what I want so I'm gonna do that you can see that I have extra uh, quotes in there and I take it out and this is exactly what I need on line 48 and and the next one, I'm just gonna hit tab now it do, do you see that it needed a little bit of massaging a little bit of of like some changes that I was not accepting from uh, Copilot so that's that's good enough now the one problem is that uh, I need to check the body uh, pydantic which is a thing uh, that I need is uh, is this one right here and it says that this is for length uh, body needs something different so uh, I can mix and match right I can add a comment that says I want to add a pydantic uh, model that uses uh, text uh, text as input and I'm gonna get that suggestion uh, pretty pretty well pretty fast there and I can now use now I can't name it the same so I'm probably going to change that to text and that looks fine and then I'm gonna replace that from uh, text here at, at the return of the function so that got me very close again and all I had to do was uh, start typing I had to make some changes on the fly but I was also able to combine with a, a comment here as a prompt to finalize my application